What's up guys, Gaft is back with the reveal to the torn and restored visual card trick. It does require a couple of items. The first thing you're going to need is a top of the box gaff. If you do not know how to make a top of the box gaff, there will be a link in description to a build tutorial, so go and check it out. You will also need a duplicate card. So you're going to have your top of the box gaff card inside the box and a duplicate card. You're going to start out by putting one duplicate face up on the top of the deck followed by the top of the box gaff face down remembering the orientation of the top of the box it needs to be around the right way and I just did a simple cut deeper force so the way I did it was you'd have your extra seven on the top this can all go into the box. Right, let me just show you a crazy card trick. You're going to believe your eyes, this is awesome. Take the cards out, making sure you don't flash anything here because you've got a face-up card, remember. Close up the box and keep the box close at hand. Face down or face up, it doesn't really matter. And now you're going to show your spectator all the cards are, in fact, here and they're all just mixed up. Don't spread too far to expose this and then you're just going to do the cut deeper force um, most of the times when I do the cut deeper force I'm the one holding the card so it doesn't really make much difference to the lay person they have no idea what's going on a magician yeah he's going to know but how many times you show a card trick to somebody that knows card tricks never so I'm just going to reach in pick up a portion of cards turn them face up and I said you could have, we could have cut to any of these cards but I'm going to make this a little bit more random we'll cut a little bit deeper turn these over and the first face down card we come to will be your card now you want to make sure when you spread you don't spread too much and expose what's going on here but because this is a bit of a scruffy deck the cards don't slide if this is a brand new deck you might find it's hard not to expose that card but just force a card a different way so the first face down card is your card. In this case, it is the seven of spades. Put these cards down. It shouldn't reveal anything. And then proceed to rip up this card. You're going to rip it down the middle and then rip it down the middle again. So you can see I have just ripped up the seven. We're going to try something crazy. What I would make sure is that you flatten out the, uh, the tear a little bit and just place the pieces on top of the deck. You want to make sure that there are no pieces sticking out from the edges. So you can see we've torn up your seven. I'm going to try and do a little piece of crazy magic. Just pick up the box. This is just a bit of a comedy bit to start with when you're, you're not actually going to touch the deck. You're just going to wave the box over and say to your spectator, can you see this card changing? And also make a note at flashing the bottom of the box a couple of times. It's not really changed much, has it? We're going to do it again. Just slowly wave it over. Now, what I sometimes do, I will rest the box on this finger. So when I'm rubbing, it's sat on top of that finger. It makes no difference, but it just feels comfortable. Flash the bottom again. Right, we're going to do it one more time. This time when you do it, you're going to make contact with the card briefly. And then just go through the process of doing the rub. And the top of the box gaff will have stolen the ripped up pieces. So you're just going to rub the box. You can quickly flash the bottom, put the box down and show them that their card has been completely restored. And the ripped up pieces will just be hiding under the box. That's why I say make sure it's not protruding over the side of the deck so that you haven't got any corners sticking out from here. So that's how I did it guys. You're gonna have, you're gonna just rip up these cards, place them on top of the box. Actually that should have been under there. And you're momentarily gonna make contact with the box, with the deck, and their card will seemingly restore. So that's how I did it guys. Like I say, there is a link in, to, in description to how to build your own top of the box gaff. This 
is a fantastic gimmick. It literally has endless possibilities. So comment, subscribe, like guys, and come back tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers.